So I'm going to show you how to get the VST plugin GSnap that we use for our auto tune into Audacity. You already know that it doesn't come in Audacity by default. We have to download the, the VST plugin and install it in Audacity. Okay, so here I have my Audacity open. If you don't have it already, so this is what you're going to do. So first things first, you want to open your browser and just type in vstgsnap to so show you gvstgsnap yeah so you just click on the first result that opens okay so this is it gsnap um, so if you're using Windows, you download any of the options, 32-bit, 64-bit. I think the last time I tried 64-bit, it didn't work for me, so I had to download the 32-bit. If you're using Mac or whatever operating system you're using. For me, I use Windows, so I'll go ahead to download. Um, it's downloaded. Okay. I'm going to open it now. open it up now when you open it you'll see the g snap okay i have a duplicate here because i already downloaded one before i did this tutorial so you see your g snap win 32 open the folder and then you'll see the g snap dot dll file that's what you need you are going to copy it you know how to copy you're going to copy it and then you go and open your open your local disk you see program files, the one that have x86 in brackets, you open that and then you see Audacity. Open Audacity, you see plugins, you go to plugins and then you control paste. You are going to paste. It's asking me if I want to replace the file because I already have the file there, so I'm not going to do that. Otherwise, if you don't have it, you paste it and then when that is done, you open up your Audacity. Then you come down to effects. You see add and remove plugins. That's the first options there. If you click on it, you see all the plugins that are there. You will now go down, 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 down. You scroll down, you see G snap and you make sure it's enabled. Now it's enabled because I already have it enabled. But in your own case, it's not enabled. You now come down to enable here. You click on enable. So when you click on enable, okay, then you you might want to close audacity and open it up again um, then you go to effects you scroll down you're going to see the gsnap down voila here's it gsnap you open it and this is how it is so i already did a tutorial on how to use the gsnap settings to give your voice a perfect auto tune so after getting your G-Snap installed now, you can go ahead to watch that tutorial. All right.